to the first in a series of videos aimed at assisting APS members with how to enter their photographs in international exhibitions. This first video covers how to find the international exhibitions to enter. It specifically covers the exhibitions that have patronage from the International Federation of Photographic Art, more commonly referred to as FIAP. Photography exhibitions are also often referred to as photography salons, so the two words will be used interchangeably. In this tutorial, I will cover briefly what FIAP patronage on a salon means, how to locate the exhibitions, and selecting the exhibitions to enter from the hundreds that are available. Before I proceed, I would like you to bookmark this website, as this is where all the salons with FIAP patronage are listed and where we will spend this tutorial. FIAP is an international organisation that affiliates national photographic organisations around the world. Amongst its activities, it provides patronage for international salons. There are other organisations that offer similar approvals, such as the Photographic Society of America. But for purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to cover the salons with FIAP patronage. A huge proportion of salons actually run with approvals from both organisations and others as well, so will often appear on more than one organisation's lists. From the FIAP website, you can link to the current list of salons. Come up here to the menu, click Approved Salons, and it's this link here. But we're going to go directly across to the Fiat Patronage website, which is the website that I asked you to bookmark earlier. Fiat sets rules and standards that cover all the salons to which their patronage applies. This includes the definition for the set subjects such as nature, monochrome and any section to which the salon has attached the word traditional. It is essential that before lodging your entry into any international salon that you read the salon rules and ensure that you are familiar with the contents of the two FIAP rules documents. Every salon provides a link to these documents and asks you to also certify that you've read them. There are over 550 salons running with FIAT patronage per year, so it's important to use the selection tabs up the top to narrow the list. By if you have a special salon section that appeals to you, maybe it might be, say, Nature for instance, you can select it there. You might want to narrow the list by the medium that is used. So let's say we'll, for the sake of this exercise, we'll choose print salon. Regardless of what other criteria you might choose to use, I always select via the closing date. And in particular, I choose is between, because by this mean I can set a start date that eliminates all those that have already closed and for the sake of this I will choose the default which is today's date and an end date and I typically don't look more than two to three months ahead so we'll say let's choose the end of December regardless of what selection criteria you select or indeed if you choose to clear some selection you always need to then hit apply and it'll take a minute or two for this list to narrow down from the hundreds that are there down to just the ones that meet our selection criteria. If you wish to sort the list a little further, and I will do this when the list comes up, you can actually narrow the list, or not narrow the list, but sort the list in order according to a particular date, for instance. So I usually do this, I select according to the closing date because that just puts the list in order of which is going to close, which salon is going to close first. We now have our list and you can see we haven't even got multiple pages of list here, it's just one page. From this list 
I can click on any of these lines to open up more information about the particular salon. So for instance, I might choose this salon here because this one has some themes and that's what T stands for, it stands for theme. And by clicking on anywhere in this in this line, it'll open up a box and provide me with more information, such as what the themes are, what the entry fees are, and the relevant dates. And those dates can be quite important to you, particularly if you're trying to find a salon that is going to notify you of the results in time for you to use them for your distinctions or honours applications. Across to the right, we can close this box and indeed should we choose to enter one of these salons, we click on the salon website and the full details and entry options are on those websites. After the salon has judged the entry, results are usually emailed to you and they're also often published on the salon's website. A spreadsheet of acceptances and awards are also sent to FIAP for their database. This spreadsheet document is called the FIAP Salon File, or FSF for short. You cannot use results from a salon for FIAP distinctions until FIAP have that file. This can actually be checked on this website and it's over on the far right hand column where it says Salon FIAP file sent to FIAP. Now obviously all of these are not yet because these salons have not yet run but when FIAP have received that file the word yes will appear in that column. Before you send, you send your entry off to one of these salons, please watch the video about titling your photos for exhibition entry. Thank you.